what's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric the quarterfinals for the vertex cup is underway and we're going to determine which country has the best players in the world and we're kicking it right off so make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button don't forget to use code eric and we're going to see a member of russia's team bass klim start us off here with a queen charge into hybrid now the russian a lot of these russian players play for badzinger badzinger has definitely made a really really strong name for themselves and has been a powerhouse in the clash competitive community and we'll see what they can do today playing and representing their country here then i walk his way into the royal champion super wall break in the multi inferno and where is this queen going to go from there do you think she'll go to the town hall i don't think that she will i think she'll stay to the left a bit maybe eventually work her way back to it if he cuts off her pathing and sends in the hybrid from the bottom of the base but no he's sending the hybrid from the top of the base not expecting the queen to go to the town hall or at least going to cut her off before she has a chance to go there she'll fight off the cc has to go to ability and the uh, headhunters unfortunately take off they're going over to the enemy or to the uh not enemy <laughs> why do i say enemy <laughs> they're going over to the king the king will pop his ability and he'll take them down as the hybrid works away to the town hall so they were ability to take that town hall blast as the pekka and the king actually step pretty deep in the base that's going to force the hybrid more central then maybe he would have hoped, but he has hogs that are going to come in out of the siege barracks. They're going to collapse in that corner and make so that everything can get into action and hopefully push into that backside scatter shot. The king might be a catalyst to get them into position to be able to go into it soon afterwards, but they need to get him down. He's got the heal spell to cover the hogs. Miners do step in to fight the king. There is a miner in the middle, but they just uh, got taken out by the warden because the queen is not stepping up that grand expo, but she does get through a wall. She has a rage on her. He's still trying to work his way to the scatter shot up on the top side. And I don't know about this queen. I think she needs to get that warden down to survive. And she dies as the warden takes his last strike. The queen drops. He gets a heal of transfer, but it goes over to a wizard in the back. Would have loved to see a transfer to the royal champion there, but that is going to make this attack grind to a halt. He needed the queen to survive there. She could have tanked a couple of these defenses and kept the damage off of the royal champion, potentially. I don't know if he had a chance there. Would have been close either way. But he'll climb into the mid-80s here. And Boss Klim, unable to start Russia off with a lead unless they can get a big defense when the Italian team strikes next. All right. 86 yeah, 86 will be the final let's try yes it was mng esports was a lot of these italian players and they definitely did really really well they uh won their town hall 11 team i remember won the champion war league uh they won the champion war league town hall 11 division and double barrel fought them in the finals i fought them personally that was a lot of fun they did really really well all right, Milanello is live. Here we go. Coming in against Avatar with a P.E.K.K.A. smash. Lots of freezes brought into this fight. A little bit of a funnel there with the wizard. Doesn't last very long there as the Architar wasn't tanked. And Queen will continue on forward, finding a Tesla farm on the opener. Lots of Teslas. Lots of heroes right here. But he puts the Warden in to give the Queen extra firepower. And he gets the Warden statue down. If you didn't know, the Warden statue can actually boost the HP of all the other heroes around him. So if you're ever trying to get a little extra out of your heroes, then put that Warden on defense. And he's, his aura still helps out not only the enemy heroes, but also the defensive CC troops. Here comes the P.E.K.K.A.S. Pushing through. The multi inferno, and he's got a jump to carry him into another multi inferno in the middle of the base. There, where he's got a double scatter shot waiting for him. He's got the blimps that's going to travel through, take the town hall down, pops the word ability right as a black mine was going for the healers, saves the healers, and protects the blimp. And he can continue charging his way in. He needs the healers to switch over to the Pekka's, though. They're hanging back. The sweeper's knocking him in to the uh, back row there, and they're not stepping forward to heal at these Pekka's. They're staying on the queen. The P.E.K.K.A.s are starting to get dwindled down, but they are holding a strong tanking position there to keep the queen and the royal champion safe. But his queen is not letting up those healers. She's not going to let him escape from her. And we'll see if that burns him in the end. The P.E.K.K.A.s will get all the way to the expo. Last one drops. 
No, wait, there's still one on the outside from the Siege Barracks. That one will stick around. The Queen of Popper ability. Get through the wall. Get the multi Inferno down. This is looking really strong here from Milanello. He didn't need the healer transfer. It's now turned into a Queen Charge. And the Queen can take all the rest of the way through the base there. There's the Road Champion ability. And he'll swag two freezes. And he's got the triple on the board here. Italy connects. And is going to be playing in the lead as we start off this match. Brilliant stuff here. From the Italian team. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Wasted coming in from Russia. I'm going to get Maz. Maz AF. <laughs> and he'll send it in with a uh, Blizzard Dragon attack here. Going right after a Scattershot. The Eagle Artillery. Get the Sweeper out of the way there. Maybe get the CC and got an Air Defense. Big, big value here for this Blizzard. And it can continue on. Gets the Enemy Royal Champion down. Can he get that Queen down as well? Maybe. Hey, I know this base. <laughs> I, I fought against a base very, very similar to this. If not exact. No, it's the exact same base. <laughs> I fought against this same base the other day. And I did a Skelly Donut on it. It was an awesome attack. <laughs> it was, uh, who was running the base? It was, uh, Big Vale. Big Vale was running this exact same base. And I did a Skelly Donut Lalo on it. And it was awesome. All right, well, we'll see what he can do here. He did get a lot of value out of that blimp. And he still has his heroes working on the bottom side of the base there. And he got the CC out of the way. Headhunters and the Hound are already down out of the way there, making so the heroes can uh, just have free reign without a Hound popping out later and uh, messing up his Queen. But this Queen is actually going to be able to get this Town Hall down by the looks of it. She should step in. She does. She can pop her ability right there. Take the Town Hall down while he's inside the Ward ability. And if she can get that Air Defense, that'd be huge before she locks onto the King. But the King has stepped up. She does go down. I don't know if he was necessarily going for the Town Hall there, but now he's going to have to finish the attack on three air defenses and two single infernos. It's going to make it very tough for these dragons to move through. He still has his world champion. She can pick up the slack. He sends her in on the top side. I personally probably would have sent her in on the bottom side. So she could get the cross tanking from the dragons. But uh, we'll see if it is the right decision here. So he continues on his way through. He drops in the invisibility spell. Making all the ground skellies invisible. And making so the world champion skips all the way ahead to the single inferno. But all the dragons are starting to die out now. It's just down to the warden. He freezes to try to save her. And it's not enough. It is going to be a defense here from Russia. Unable to get this one done. Maybe he should have watched my stream for them the, from the other night. <laughs> he would have known. He would have known. 87% will be the final. Maz coming in against Wasted. They're trying to show him how it's done here with the Inferno Dragons. He's got three freezes with a couple of lightning. Lightning can take out of the Air Sweeper. Just an air sweeper, so he didn't bring any extra lightning or quakes or anything like that. And he got the damage onto the scatter shot as well. Just uh, not wasting the value of the lightning. Probably could have got some damage on that ground expo. Made it a little bit easier for these Inferno Dragons to work their way through. Just a little bit of damage could make a difference in the long run on these attacks. But once they go to full beam, I guess it doesn't make that much of a difference. They're going to burn down their target almost instantly as soon as they do. He'll send in a skeleton spell a little bit late. Over by the queen, so he has to freeze it to make so the queen doesn't go to ability. And then she doesn't step into the compartment. Like, we know that the queen hates those open corners. But come on, queen. Come on. <laughs> you could have taken that one. She found a different open corner to go through. And then she ends up dying to the enemy queen. The king luckily goes in and he will activate the town hall and take it down there. As the blimp drops in to help out. The yetis actually run away from the town hall. They don't get hit by the blast. The skeleton spells help the inferno dragons over on the left. Take the inferno down on that left side. And it looks like that right side inferno dragon gets the eagle artillery down. There's not a lot of base left and he still has the royal champion moving through. Where is she? I lost track of her. Is she down? Did I... Did I miss her going down? I thought I saw her coming in the bottom side there. There she is right there. There she is right there. She's down. I missed her going down, but... Oh, I don't know if he has enough here. He's got the Yetis. One Yeti's at good health. 
Got a little bit of firepower behind him. Still has to have Warden standing. Warden's gonna get pulled into the air defense, though. No, he's not gonna make it. Wishful thinking. But Italy will keep this war nice and close. They're gonna they're gonna keep it nice and close for us, guys. Oh, I hate when that happens. When all the Yeti Mites attack a target that was already gonna die anyways. That's the worst, right? That's the worst. That's why it's so good to have Yetis under a rage when they're in, then the Yeti Mites pop out. Because then less of them go to a waste because the Yeti Mites move faster and kill the target before more lock onto it. <laughs> Alright, we got ND coming in against Vegit. He's got a Zap Lalo here. So he zaps out the Sweeper. The Scatter. And didn't hit any of the heroes with it. I didn't try to hit the heroes. Was he aiming for the heroes and he just missed them? Or was he just going for the pad there? Like, he zapped out the RC pad. And he quaked out the whole core of the base. Hopefully he was some potential for higher value there. But the king's going to go in and grab out the Seagull Artillery. Funneled him in. The queen goes for a walk. The RC comes in down the line to drive the queen in to follow the golem. His king does engage the enemy queen just a little bit there, pulling the CC. He does get a full pull by the looks of it. And he triggers the tornado trap there before he goes down. RC might be able to get her way into this uh, multi-inferno over here. She doesn't get distracted and sniped off by the CC. One super minion heading her way. Pops her ability. Can she get it? Survive it, survive it, survive it. Oh, the grand expo. Oh, no. Get it. Oh, she needed one more shot. She needed one more shot. He'll pop his queen ability and get the enemy queen down before the skeletons arrive. But here it goes. The slammer will get the last shot on that multi-inferno. He can recover from that just fine, guys. He'll be all right here. He come up on the back side of the sweeper. His Tessas pop on him. He drops in a couple extra balloons to deal with the Tessas. And sends in an Ice Hound. Now, this Ice Hound will pop early and fast, but it's going to get some good value here. Freezing up that single inferno, arch tower, and air defense all together there. And he'll make his approach to the town hall. One more freeze comes down to freeze that town hall up. He's going to get the warden in position. The warden has stepped perfectly into position. They'll get the strike on it there. Take it down and move into the scatter shot. May have been beneficial to delay that warden ability just a little bit longer. To maybe carry him into the scatter shot. But he never gets a, the speed to go into anyways with the slowing down of that town hall blast. He's got one more ice hound that is still intact. The slammer is tanking. The scatter shot, and that's going to carry him all the way through. Rush has got the triple on the board here. Absolutely smashed this one. Apparently, he didn't need to zap out the heroes in the start there. He had it under control. And Russia just needs a defense against this Italian team, and they can make their way back into the lead here. Or wait, is it back in the lead if they've never had it in the first place? No, they're just about to try to go get it for the first time of the war. Vegith. Live against ND. Let's get it done. Let's see if they can get back into a proper lead here and uh, stay ahead of this Russian team as he drops in these in this uh, Warden Walk to start it off here. And with a baby dragon and a couple balloons to go funnel out there, but does find a big Tessa farm. And it's going to slow this warden down, but it isn't going to drop the warden directly into the Tessa farm. So it doesn't pick up all the damage instantaneously and get burned to his ability. And that's good. A lot of people like to put those Tessa farms in spots to drop uh, the, a warden, but also to stop blimp drop. So if you start on the town hall side of the corner, then you're generally going to be a little bit more safe. Not always. So got to keep an eye on that warden at all times and make sure that he's not going to drop into something uh, that's going to put him in danger. But he'll make his way to the scatter shot. He's going to take it down there. Maybe even delay him for a little bit longer. Get a test or two. But he at least get the builder hut and make sure that funnel is solid as the P.E.K.K.A.s and the super wizards start to work their way in. The king actually going to duck in that little cove and clear a lot of that internal path which is going to make the path for the the bowlers, so there's bowlers in here too. Bowlers, super wizards, and P.E.K.K.A.s a little bit tighter as they move through the base. And if the king and the witches can do some work on the outside there with Valkyrie's joining him out of the siege barracks, then he's going to be in a really good spot here with the P.E.K.K.A.s moving up the core of the base here, engaging the enemy queen, taking eagle strikes there, loses a healer to a black mine. Now he's taking heavy here and fire from this scatter shot. 
The rage up again, making sure that the healers are raged. They are almost more important than the P.E.K.K.A.s themselves getting raged there. If the healers keep everything topped off after they get the transport of the P.E.K.K.A.s, this core is almost invincible. The queen... Oh, wait. This queen, this queen splits off from the group and she steps over and gets the scatter shot down. This queen is 200 IQ. And she may have just pulled this raid back from a danger that it might not have been able to overcome. Taking that scatter shot down and moving over to get the Tessa farm down the left side as the Royal Champion moves her way through the single Inferno. He has an invisibility and another phrase to lock it down. It's a triple from Italy. And they're getting out of this one, maintaining their lead, matching Rush's triple. And there's the RC ability clearing out the rest of the base there. Swags, an invisibility spell. Maybe could have used it to save the queen at the end there, but all good. He's got it. He's got it. Vegeth. Previously playing for the pro Italian team NMNG Esports. Coming in here and representing Italy today. Dina Hammer time. Coming in with some super witches and bats. It's a super bat slap. Let's go. What is what does Dina have for us today? Start off with a queen walk, not a warden walk. The queen walk should stay to the left and stay outside of the base here. The warden will come down with the queen. This uh, funnel here seems very, very simple. No reason not to do a queen walk and uh, speed it up a bit. And as soon as this sword goes down, he can try to wall break into the uh, collector there and he gets it. Big Tessa farm pops on him. Here comes the super witches, the king on the outside. Gonna drive them all into the base. He's got one more super wall breaker, but he can't use it until after this expo goes down. And then he can wall break into the other expo deeper into the base there. But he wants the king to go get the eagle artillery potentially. No, he's gonna have the blimp take the town hall, and that'll potentially clear out. Oh, wait, does he get it? <laughs> okay, sometimes there's a little bit of delay when that blimp drops before it actually goes down, and it sometimes scares me. But he's got the town hall down, and he gets the expos. And that is going to push the witches to go up on the base, but it does need some extra support on the outside here. Handful of his troops are going to stay to the inside, but some of them are breaking off. If he could just have one healer stay behind and take care of the group on the outside, that would be good. They can work their way up to the single inferno. But here comes the bats on the bottom side with the royal champion freezing up the wizard tower. As the Queen and the Witches take down the scatter shot, there's no splash damage left on the side of the base there. It's looking good. Needs the RC to go back and go get that uh, Arch Tower. Pop her ability. That'll go all the way through and push her back into the Wizard Tower. But the Queen's got the Wizard Tower under control. The Witches work their way in the top corner. Dina Hammer time! Looking good for the triple on this one. Last defense is engaged. It's just a single for knowing the bats are tanking for the road champion. They're going to carry it through. And with plenty of time left on the board here, Russia getting it done and putting one up for the team here to potentially start to make their <laughs> try to continue to make a comeback. I guess uh, Italy still holding the lead here. And they're going to need a defense if they want to properly get ahead here. But. Even percentage might be a problem after that. We're going to have to look at the percentages here and see exactly where these teams stand. But there we go. It's a triple. Russia. Getting it done. That's two out of four for them. And two out of three for Italy. And this war could swing here in an instant. But Italy holds a percentage advantage. We'll see what happens. Checo is live. Coming with a Blizzard Lalo, maybe? Um, what was, how did that building go down in the middle of the base there by the, uh, wait, 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 it was a, was a little bit of lightning used in there? A little bit of lightning? Took that sweeper out and did some damage to the expos? Now she can pop her ability, get the town hall down, and the expos even get some damage onto the multi-inferno. And now she survives it and she can continue on, maybe get another cannon. High value here out of the Royal Champion. Could you get a Tesla on top of that? Wow, look at the value of this Royal Champion. She will go down to the single, but she has done her job. And she's going to set up a nice Subi hero here to go in. And he still has to deal with the CC, so let's keep that in mind here. But a uh, balloon and a baby dragon come over on the left corner. Get behind the CC range here as he makes his way forward. 
The Roar Champion never actually stepped up into it. The Ice Golem will, though. Ice Golem will round the corner there and get in front of the Queen. Here comes the CC. He's got the Headhunter out in front there. The Ice Golem pop right now. Pop it right now. Yes! Pop it up and lock the CC down. Giving that Queen more time to work there. He still used that extra Lightning to take out the Headhunters. And the Queen under very minimal fire right here as she fights off the Multi-Inferno. And the Hound. I guess more of the Hound than the Multi-Inferno. <laughs> it's doing a little bit of damage there. And the Queen will have to go to ability. But her ability should be able to carry her forward into this Multi-Inferno. As the King works on the enemy Queen. Isn't going to get her down. But he did get the Scatter Shot down. And that is going to be really valuable. Does get the Multi-Inferno down. The Slammer is going to start into the core of the base here. Here comes a Lalo in from the right side. Slammer will come up on the backside of that scatter shot and maybe even keep the damage off of everything else. He'll freeze it. Does take a shot to his balloons, though. That hurts. But he got the enemy road champion down. Ice Golem pops, or no, Ice Hound, I mean, pops up top. As more Lava Hounds come in up top as well to join up with the balloons all as they arrive to the last air defense. More balloons in from the backside. He's got the base completely surrounded. And Jacko's looking good here. Just needs to get down this Eagle Artillery. And he's going to be ending on it. Not going to be a problem. Still has two balloons that he hasn't deployed yet. And the invisibility, the freeze, and the haste. He's absolutely crushed it. And Italy with the percentage advantage will maintain their star advantage as we go into the final attack beautifully done here that was fantastic swags it all at the end there a line of spells just a slap in the face there to this russian team as they are playing from behind still as italy is not lighting up so they're gonna need a defense they're gonna need a pretty significant defense here as the percentage is 4.2 which is 22 buildings. 22 buildings. The Russian winter is fading. Oh, yes. There we go. This is a very, very important attack here for Russia. If they don't triple this, then their hopes to stay alive in this war will diminish greatly. He's going to start off with skeleton spells and invisibility to snipe off the CC here. He's got two Earthquakes, and he can use those to finish it off if needed. And he'll pop those right there. The Skeletons do get the CC down. He's got one more Skeleton spell and one more Earthquake spell. And he can use that Earthquake to... He can use the Earthquake to activate the Town Hall as necessary, or he can use it for something else. It could be a backup to finish off the CC in the event that the Skeletons didn't take it down initially. But he might just want to... I don't know where he wants to use it. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe he uses it to set up some Royal Champion value somewhere on the base to make so she can pop her ability and take a couple things down. But with no CC to deal with, the heroes have free burn over that area, and that saves up a lot of spells here that they would have had to expend to get the value that they needed to get right here. But there we go. Goes all the way to the core of the base there with that Royal Champion ability, taking out some Teslas. They were already weakened up by that first Quake. And that is going to set up nice pathing here as he works his way through. He drops in a skeleton spell to take the scatter shot off of the balloons and off of the hounds as they try to work their way in. They'll keep on spawning. They'll freeze up the scatter shot as the skeleton spell is getting overwhelmed a little bit. They're taking a lot of the damage off of the Lalo. The slammer comes in to take the other scatter shot. Looking good here. Just needs to get to this multi inferno. He still has his ward ability. Can you, you can pop it in the middle of a bunch of red bombs start going off? There it is. Pops in now. They're in a big pack there. Only about half of them are protected. He takes the Eagle Strikes while still inside of the ward ability. No red bombs going off. Got through the core safely. That's the haste. Carries through to the end. There's the quake to soften everything up there. More balloons in the backside. And Avatar from Russia has done what he needed to do. And there's nothing left they can do after that. They've done everything they could at this point. It all comes down to the defense of the final player of the Russian team they have a chance they have a chance they've done what they needed to do they got the triple on the board here but Italy will control their own fate here they're gonna need about an 80% two star if my calculations are correct they were 22% behind going into this attack 79 is the tie 80 for the win. If it does go to a tie, 
Then Italy currently holds the percent or the time advantage, but that can swing as well. I don't know that it can swing far enough. Even a three minute uh, average into that won't put it over 236, I don't think. So I think they just need an, a 79% for the win. All right, it all comes out of this. There we go. Mr. Snack. That is, that is a player that I want pulling up the rear here. Mr. Snack is very, very good. Let's see what he can do for us today. Starting to win a couple of lightning onto the Scattershot here. Taking out... What was with it? Uh, Warden Statue. Is the Warden Statue and he got the Queen. He got the enemy Queen and got some damage onto that single Inferno up there. That single Inferno is now softened up so that the Royal Champion can pop her ability, take it down, and clear that entire corner of the base. Just needs the heroes to get in here and deal with the CC. He'll freeze up the Headhunters into the poison and make so that the uh, King... He isn't going to be bothered by the Hound. He'll drop in some uh, Valkyries as well. Valkyrie just uh, clearing the small troops there, the small fodder. The Ice Club pops right as the Town Hall activates. The Queen will pop her ability. If she get that enemy road champion down, that would be huge right there. She will engage her, and she will take her down. The King pops his ability as the road champion swings on the right side. She takes out the a single inferno and clears that entire corner of the base there she's gonna be stuck in the hounder but she's at least safe as the king will continue to draw the hound around the base and he's off to a really really strong start here still has to deal with multiple sweepers a scatter a multi inferno expos and the eagle artillery but it's a strong way to start off here dropping a couple of balloons he's gonna scatter them around and look at this the road champion comes back across the base there finds some tests in the middle and he'll try to get into this uh, scatter shot, but if Tessus continue to pop in the middle, he may not get the pathing to it. The scatter shot could be a huge problem for him. Slammer in the top side, completely surrounded the base. Even if he doesn't get the triple, he is looking good for clearing all the trash to make it open for the percentage grab. Does get the pathing to the scatter shot. Scatter shot drops into the multi inferno. Mr. Snack is looking good and. Italy's looking like they're going to carry through for the triple here, and they will take the win there. He passed the percentage that he needed there, and is going all the way to the three-star. Mr. Snack coming in at the end and absolutely crushing this base, and he's going to carry his team into the semifinals of the Vertex Cup. I believe that lines them up to face Japan in their next match. No, go head to head here in the semifinals. Brilliant, brilliant attack there. 14 to 13, that is a high score war, ladies and gentlemen. That is a high scoring war right there. That was a lot of fun. All right, guys, Russia, try as they might, could not withstand the force of Italy today. 14 to 13 is our final. If you enjoyed that war, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more, and then join us back for more because we will have Italy versus Japan in the semifinals. And we still have two more quarterfinals matches, so we'll see what happens with those. We'll see you guys in the next one.